Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So on this video, I want to walk you through creating the rig. On the previous video, we created the guides and we put them in place. Now let's actually create the rig. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to have you select the character. And for my character, I really have a low poly character. You can actually play with some of these settings to make it look right for your character. I'm actually going to go down to probably 10 on the voxel resolution and let me bring it down right about there and I don't need a lot of blue blur iteration so and also for the skinning I think voxel is fine then just simply click on add a rig and that's actually gonna rig the character for you automatically so now if we go and look at our character, we can see that the character is completely rigged. And the first thing that I normally do when I'm rigging a character, I especially with Puppet 3D, is I collapse all the controls in the global underscore CTRL. And I start looking at you know the results. And we clearly have some issues with the geometry. So if you can look at how I'm bending the knees, and I'm bending my, my body, it's actually creating a weird angle. So we're gonna have to do some changes on the way painting. And so that, it's one change. Let's actually move it. And that definitely doesn't look right. We can go into the food control. And actually no, that one is actually not that bad. The other, the other thing that I do is, for example, these controls. So if I select both of the knee controls, I'm going to select them from the hierarchy and I move them forward a little bit more. The reason for that is because I want to, I want to be able to control them and not get in the way. So looks like those, that's working just fine. And let's actually check Let's check the hands and in this character I really don't need the fingers to bend but if you need it that you can actually click on rig fingers and it will do the, the rigging for you on the fingers so let's see yeah definitely there's some issues with that and we can click on the both of the elbow controls moving back a tiny bit and let's look at the let's look at the neck. Let's see how that's looking. And look looks like the neck is fine, except when I'm moving my leg, my my neck up, it looks like there's there are a couple of vertices that are getting on the way. So we'll we'll fix that with the painting. And let's go into our head and see how the head works. And looks like that, that one is actually perfect. I can look up. It's actually great and let's see so if we go back into the spine group and that's actually not too bad we can do the same thing with with our chest okay so that looks fine so what I'm gonna do on the on the next video is I want to show you how to fix some of the issues that we have with the geometry we're gonna use the skinning op option and actually go in and paint, paint some weights so that our character looks natural when we're animating it. So thank you again guys. If you have any questions, let me know through the comments and don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.